for this video I just wanted to show you guys how I paint my nails I'll do a separate video for my actual manicure process but I always start with getting all my tools out paper towel for cleaning up messes or wiping my brush on tweezers for any stray fuzzies or cat hair a cleanup brush for cleaning up the extra polish a orange stick to clean up polish that I get on my nails while it's still wet some cuticle oil for the end of my manicure and some nippers just in case I get a hangnail I always use my Orly Bonder base coat. Today I'm going to do my nails with Sally Hansen Mellow Yellow. And I've been using the Glisten and Glow top coat. And I'm also obviously getting acetone and then my little acetone cup for my cleanup at the end. I always line up everything so I can have everything in order and not be reaching around for things while my nails are wet. And then I use a mat to protect my table. So I use kind of the three stroke method for my base coat my pinky kind of just needs like two but for the other fingernails I just do a glob down the middle and then just kind of spread that out on either side if it needs to be evened out I just kind of manipulate it a little bit but you always want to make sure that there's no fuzzies or anything on your nail because once you put your base coat down that will lock it on your nail and if you have a lighter polish or maybe like a light pink or a pastel or something you'll be able to see those fuzzies through the polish kind of like bumpy it'll look bumpy and weird so just to make sure that it's a smooth manicure always start with clean nails when you go in for your first coat I always try to make it as even as possible so that your other coats that follow maybe you won't need as many this polish always needs three coats I it's just yellows are sometimes terrible formulas but I kind of do the same thing here with my as with my base coat I'll get a glob of polish on the end and put it down the middle and then just kind of push it out so that I'm not getting too much polish on my nails and that will hopefully not make my cuticles or my skin get any polish on them You just want to put that glob down the middle and then spread it out a little bit. I try to get as close to my cuticles as possible, but I don't really worry about it. I just do as much as I can and I just don't really, I think that it looks fine either way. If you have polish super close or just a little bit close, you can't really tell unless you're up in the business of your nails. You can see for the second coat that it gets a little bit deeper but there's still patches of kind of like darkness and that's where the third coat will come in to cover that up. If you do end up getting some on your skin, if you use that orange stick to kind of just wipe it away, it'll come off a lot easier. If you wait till it dries, it could pull a little bit at the polish that's actually on your nails because it has dried with that polish. So it's kind of like one piece. If you wipe it off now, it's still a little more movable since it's wet. You can see the difference from my first finger to my second of the first coat and the second coat. It makes a big difference. And then as you can see here, my finger on the top for my right hand has three coats and the other one has two. So you can just see it's a little brighter and it looks a little more even so that's why we're going to add a third coat for this polish you want to wait between your base coat and then also each coat a couple minutes I don't usually wait more than five minutes like I said, I do thicker coats, but I kind of even them out. So I feel like three to five minutes is more than enough time for it to dry. Obviously, it kind of depends on your climate. That could change how fast your coats dry.
For the top coat, I put it on maybe a minute after I have done my final coat. I get a glob of it at the end and I tried not to let my brush touch the actual polish because the polish is still wet but if you use a fast dry top coat sometimes you can have shrinkage because the polish is dry and that wet top coat is going on top of it if you wait too long and then it shrinks as the top coat dries. If you put it on when they're both wet it makes it a little bit easier but I just try to make sure that the brush doesn't touch the nail only the glob of that top coat is what's touching the nail and then you just move it around to cover your whole nail. I do cap the edge of my nail with the top coat, not my other coats, I just don't think it really makes that big a difference. Here you can see that this nail is just, this hand is just a little messier than my right hand. The right hand is already cleaned up. You could totally leave it with the left hand. It looks just as good as long as it's not on your skin. I feel like it looks so much better. But sometimes I get a little carried away with the cleanup, as you can see, so I just kind of go with whatever I get cleaned up. Always make sure you have enough acetone because if you leave your brush while you're cleaning up a little too dry, it can drag across the polish. So you want to make sure that you have enough on there that it's not going to flood around your cuticle because you don't want to get too much on there and irritate your cuticle. It's very drying, but if you don't have enough, it, it will do that. And that is what happened to me this time. So I usually just keep dragging it around and this is where I will get too much cleanup and get my polish too far from my cuticles. I'll be trying to clean up my mistake. But I just kind of drag it around and then just put a little on that, on that spot that I messed up. And then it kind of evens itself out and you can't really tell. Like I said, for the cleanup, this is optional. I feel like it just makes it look a little crisper to have those lines kind of even versus like you can see a little bit of that first coat and you can see a little bit of the second coat so you can kind of see all the different coats if you clean it up you can just see the opaque polish but as long as it's not on your skin it will look so much better like a manicure from the salon versus a manicure at home where it was really hard for you to get clean lines that's the lines that's how it looks I hope that this was helpful like I said that one and that one I kind of got a little too far since I messed them up but you also can't see that mess up because we put a little bit of acetone on top to soften it and then we just rounded that edge and that's my finished manicure